Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Afterlight Sky. I am your executive producer here at Final Show Films, John, and I turn it over to our game master for the evening, drinking orange juice out of a glass jar, or what looks like orange juice. It might be fun. It's lemonade. Lemonade, close enough. Aaron. <laughs> Hi, I'm Erin. I'm the GM for this evening. Um, and back to John for uh, uh, characters. I'm I'm playing Sinstaku Sonata, a Chani Seeker. Oh, bro, destiny. Double dark. All right, starting off strong. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. And I believe we determined that's also going to decide your force color for the day. Yep, which is dark. I'm in a dark. House. Okay. And Jack? Hey, everybody. I'm Jack. I'm playing R3RN, or Rerun, the astromech droid for the Nasari. And let's see what my destiny is. Single light, bringing it slightly closer to balance. And Jeremy? Hi, I'm Jeremy. I am playing uh, Luxira, Lux, uh, the Zeltron ship hacker. And I added a dark side point. <laughs> and Cody? Uh, I'm Cody. I'm playing Praz. For you to tie it up. Yeah. Uh, I'm Praz. I'm playing. No, I'm playing Praz. Uh, the Zabrak Commando. You're that so in character. You are Praz. I am Praz. You're Praz playing. And I rolled Cody. a light side point. Okay. So it didn't quite tie it up. Oh, but our starting pool is same as our ending pool last time, actually. Yeah, I synced it, and then two light and three dark. You guys rolling the singles? It's really fun when there's a whole bunch of points. Um, <laughs> and I rolled a ninety-five on the obligation roll, so no one's feeling their obligations particularly strongly, which means we don't have any base. Strain thresh. We don't have any strain threshold reduction for you guys this time. Uh, awesome. Has, has Lux recovered from all of her strain yet? Yes. Um. Yes. Strain generally recovers upon arrest, um, barring particular circumstances. Uh, but yeah, at this point, Lux has recovered. <clears throat> And on that note, our summary of last time. Last time on After Light Skies, the group confronted their clients about the kind of shady goings on and tried to determine exactly what was the cause. Um, after some poking and prodding and a few different um, attempts, they got a f and Lux getting told, if you want to be in the rebellion, stop sticking your nose where it doesn't belong. Um, they got, they did finally find out what was going on from Carter. Apparently, she had many years ago been involved in the evacuation of force sensitive children um, against the apparently consent of their parents or. Um, and she gave some details on that to Lux, who encouraged the information to be shared with the rest of the crew. Yup. And, and we have about half a day left before we arrive back at the port because we chose from we chose to go the faster way and not spend all the time in the world just sort of thinking. Where we had left off, I had just shown, uh, I had just shown mm -hmm. her that I was a Jedi, or at least Force trained. Um, mm -hmm. Walked off. Cockpit, I think. Yes, that would be right. So that went well. Back around here. <clears throat> mm. I mean, not badly. She didn't try to shoot you in the head. I consider that going well. Yeah. Actually, that's not really an indicator because 
most people, if they were smart, wouldn't try to shoot me. Instead, call a death, call a, call the local Imperial barracks and have them ambush us somewhere after we drop them off on a planet so that they could collect the bounty on my Right. What, you don't think I, you, you don't think we're monitoring communications off this ship? We or always not. monitor communications off this ship, I'm assuming. Yep. <laughs> Lux and Rerun both have some level <laughs> of doing that. <laughs> like, like, you don't think we monitor communications off the ship? No. Are we? No. <laughs> <laughs> Should we? Probably. <laughs> no, no. Yes, you're we doing 100% that. We actually explicitly are. said so in the past. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because we are not dumb. The only I mean, person who's communicating... Well, Rerun technically could, but Lux... Lux, given her spicer <laughs> capabilities, is not necessarily monitored particularly closely. No, not super, super close. But, like, there are alerts and things set up. Mm-hmm. Just, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Still. <sighs> I didn't know that there were any young, any potentials that survived the purge. I mean, it stands to reason. Uh, there were there there were some of this, this, some non potentials who survived. Yes, maybe. I haven't really had much contact with anyone other than self, so I don't know if there are I others mean, that survived. I'm assuming working where I work, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm assuming working where I work, I at least heard a lot of rumors and investigations of such, not necessarily finding. I want you to roll me a knowledge core world check just to see how much you're aware of. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, and I'm trying something new for my rolling this week. Sarah and Symmetra are guarding my computer, so hopefully they will help. <laughs> Bring order to the force, Farah and Symmetra. Um, yes. ev- everybody knows that Farah is not a defensive character. Neither God. one of neither one of them are Sombra, so what makes you think they can help your computer? That's because there is no Sombra Funko Pop. Get on that shit, Blizzard. <laughs> that being said, I am wearing a Sombra shirt. So. Okay. <laughs> Before this turns into the We Love Overwatch podcast. <laughs> so let's see how this is gonna go. Um said so Core Worlds. Yeah, Core uh, Worlds and difficulty of two given okay. your given I'll, your background. I'll go ahead and flip a point early uh, already. Sure. Um so out and let's that. Uh, one success. All right, with That's- one success, um, you were not part of any particular efforts on that. However, no, I didn't hear I was. yes, you did hear rumors, and given the way you were instructed and some of the things that you know were researched in your department. At least the Empire has reason to believe there were a few survivors. I mean, my bosses used to think so. I mean... And had pretty... Uh, seemed to have... It wasn't just an, oh, let's go check and see. Well, like, like let, well, let's keep an eye out just in case. I mean, there were operations, from what I understand. There were operations. There were, you know, there were a few traps set up to try yeah. and catch people, that sort of thing. Even with the actual resources devoted. A trained, a trained Jedi evading the Empire is one thing. Or sensitive children is an entirely different. I'm sure it is. So. Well, you wouldn't happen to still be in contact with the people robbed in Imperial Barracks for, would you? I mean... I don't know. What do you want me to say here? (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> I mean, it would be nice if it was a yes. Not necessarily them, but I can. I'm in touch with somebody who can get in touch. I was. What are you looking for? I think she's saying she knows a guy who knows a guy. It would be good to ensure that those children are safe. If we can and not mm-hmm. in the hands of the emperor or his lackeys. I mean, are we... Because the people, so so just to refresh my memory, the people that we did the job for was were not necessarily the the. They weren't. They were not necessarily the rebellion. rebellion adjacent. They, All we knew was that they wanted to ro- they wanted to 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 steal mm-hmm. goods, probably for financial purposes, right? Yeah, and that they didn't have problems stealing from the empire, and that they felt like they could get you in on it by making it a job against the empire. Yeah. But, they were, yeah. they were anti-Empire, which is enough for me. <laughs> I can get you better. Pray tell how. I may know a couple people. I may have, um, have dropped off a bit of information here and there um, with people who are a little more strongly opposed. Like, more, more, more explicitly opposed to... <laughs> The, the current uh, uh, political climate. Big smile. Open rebels. Active. I wouldn't say open because open rebels last about five minutes. But yes, active. Was anyone else, is anyone opposed to seeking their aid on this? I would appreciate it. We weren't opposed? Weren't opposed, yes. I oppose! No, I don't. I'm not. I mean, rerun's not even there. Yeah, I, I was just about so. to say if we're gonna do. I always assume rerun is a... listening in. Yeah, you are not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do have him. We do have a personal community. Like, I do have him on the communicator. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, you did set that up. Yeah, because I did. I, I turned the communicator on last time. Our conversation. Um. I'm glad that you have such a strong sentiment towards the feelings of equality, Rerun. I don't have any. There will be many with that. Uh, into the calm. There will be many imperially controlled droids that we will be setting free along the way. Hmm. We wait to find out what that means. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I thought so. I f- so I think that kind of makes it unanimous, right? Yes, it does. Yeah. All right. So these people, I don't exactly have an open line of communication with. I will have to. I reach do back. Some around, reestablish contact. I reach back. Uh, to the back of my belt, flip it open, and draw out the lightsaber hilt. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is a... It's sort of a smooth white and black hilt um, with sort of a slight curve to it, like a swordsman's hilt, but not not as curved as, the as like, Dooku's was in the movie. It's still a straight blade. Kind of fancy. Right. Um, and uh, roll it around and hand it across the table towards you, just towards you. If you send them an image of this, you will know very quickly whether or not they're allied. Which they did not. All right. I've done some risky things in my time. <laughs> that but is you got some equivalent. serious balls. Yeah, that's um, the I'm all for it. I'm just saying. 
I figure at this point, either this thing is going to have to be put to some use, or children will suffer a fate I don't want them to suffer. That's fair. I'm 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 fully on board. Like I said, I <laughs> I think perhaps you. I think perhaps you underestimate the talent of my former employer's propaganda skills. Um, or do I overestimate your skills? He says, still holding Stat my favorite. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. I'm like, fuck. What's that? I know what button to push? No. <laughs> I wasn't even talking about me. I was talking about... You know what? Out. I need to work. Get out. This is the cockpit. I do. <laughs> I'm the pilot. We're in hyperspace. You don't need to be in here. Go. Oh, <laughs> shit. She got you there. <laughs> I'll, uh, I undo my belt and leave it on the, <laughs> and, and leave it on my, on the, like the desk, the console. So that when Lux is done, Lux can put it back where it goes, <laughs> rather than walking through the ship with it. I mean, that's a good idea. And I will head out, probably to go train in the in the uh, the cargo bay. Carter and Wolf <laughs> are back to petty squabbling, and Carter's showing no sign that she just had an emotional breakdown. That's fine. Good for I Carter. I grab my force pike and head to the cargo. All right, so now begins the process of trying to make contact with one, which make contact with another, and to get back to the people I dropped the flash drive off with. So, remember, most of what you knew about that particular location was that it was a drop point in the physical world. Correct. Um, but it's also the most solid mm -hmm. location that I have. Yep. Anything else, I am not 100% confirmed. Though. Well, I'm not even 100% confirmed with them. But since we dropped that off, we have not been shot out of the sky. So I'm like 96%. Um, right. So it's at least somewhere to get me where I need to. So yeah, I'm going to try to establish contact there. Okay. Uh, make me a computer's roll. Difficulty... Difficulty three, but I'll give you a boost die because you're trying to recreate something you've previously done. Cool. So that's a failure. The fuck, Farah? You're pretty far out. Yeah. It this would be easier from on planet. Might be easier just to walk back there to be honest. But you're pretty far out and you're trying to access something that people don't want you to access. And well right. that is your job. No, that's fair. So in that case, at this point, I will just wait until we get a stronger, like, get out of hyperspace, at least. Um, I will take a photo of, um, of the lightsaber. Okay. Um, uh, put that put that photo in the super secret ultra secure directory right and then put it back on the belt and and, and stock out of it stock out of the, the the cockpit and go give the belt back bring it to yeah bring it to sen so as you come into the cargo bay you see me Handily beating Praz to the floor with no, the force bike. No, not handily. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, I've, that was three successes and an advantage versus a failure and two advantages. That's as somewhat. Well as, yeah. So yeah. That, th over three rounds of fighting, I got one success, three advantage versus one failure. Uh, yeah, and then oh, sorry, a sorry, wash. Versus, versus, versus a wash, not a failure. 
uh, one success, two advantages versus one failure, then three successes, one advantages versus a failure and two advantage. I know. I like how I have better dice in it too. I'm just doing it. You worse. see, Fraz pretty significantly on the defensive. Yes. I'm rusty. <laughs> You're also the, fighting a pike with a sword. The, the, yeah. The force pike is just whipping back and forth like a quarter staff master. Just. Bah, 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 bah. Are you boys having fun? Just a little training. Yeah. Put the belt down. I'm going to have to wait till we get out of hyperspace. I'm not... Pick it up. Well, we've got a few... We're probably passing by, something, probably passing by something that's making the connection hard. I don't know. But... As soon as we're out, I'll go ahead and, and, and try again. All right. Well, we'll be landing in a few hours, so... It'll be cool. easier. It might be easier from the starport. Yeah, I mean, ideally going back there, but I'm not sure that may not be feasible right now. So, starport should definitely be easier. A little riskier, too, because, you know, we're at a starport. But don't worry, we'll be fine. All right, well... You won't get riddled by blaster fire at all. Hopefully not. Big smile. Walk off. <clears throat> well, if anybody else has anything else, they're half a day. No. Uh, I'll check my emails. You're, you're muted. See if my Jack. family. Rerun doesn't really have anything he needs to do. He's out of parts. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you're only out of parts if you want the ship to keep flying. Yes. We're, you're out and, of parts. And he's, and he's been mechanically minded enough to know that for a fact. <laughs> so he's not even going to try right now. Like, he says, hey, you know what? They'll survive. Click, click, drop out of hyperspace. There's actually warnings that do generally prevent things from being removed in in hyperspace flight if they're essential, but... And Rerun has ensured that those are active and even apparent for anything in the consoles of the cockpit as well. Rerun gets blasted down the corner. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> ah! Yeah, that. <laughs> All right. I so practiced we... that one. Right, we eventually arrive at Dantooine, I assume. Yes, you do. You land back down. I assume you're just going to use the same spaceport as prior. Yep. Oh, shit. That's where we were last time, so we are literally heading there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah, forgot. You were paid for a return trip. Sorry. No, no, I yeah. No, I, I had forgotten that, that the original, the first mission was also on Dantooine. Yeah. Yep. You managed to use your information to hack up to or get two Dantooine based missions, and you guys managed yeah. to swing both of them. As we arrived to, to Lux, didn't we receive word that there was potentially bounty hunters looking for me on Dantooine? Did we? I think we did. Like um, heading, anybody else Dantooine. remember that? No, I As think the we DM, were gonna... according to my notes, Lux did notice that at the spaceport that you were prior to Dantooine, people were looking for That's for right. Someone who roughly matched Sen's description. They are not. I, I, I couldn't remember if they were coming to us. Uh... I mean, I, uh, ideally, for their sake, they would be coming to us, but, you know... We should probably keep they an eye out for find that. us first. Yeah. If anyone. No, that's my my people don't my people aren't as populous outside of Ishan as they could be. So, if they're looking for an Ishani, it probably won't be hard for them to find me. Real quick, yeah, it will not be difficult at all. We still have one dead guy in our cargo bay. What are we doing with him? Am I still checking the bounty list, or are we just going to try to you dump have, him off somewhere? You, you, you can check the bounty list. All right, it yeah. Been, I'll go to the office. You guys were indicating that you might be able to get a bounty for him. 
Yeah. Wolf um, comes by, gives you the second part of your payment. Which was how much? 1,600 for the second payment. So 525 each. As agreed. Pleasure doing business. Indeed. If you have anything else you need, we would be more than happy to smile. It gives you a nod and a professional smile back. Well, we'll be on our way. He and Carter take off. All right. Finally, that man is probably the most joyless human being I've ever met. I mean... Eh. The fact uh, that, that was coming from me didn't, didn't get us any sort of response. <laughs> I mean, I've met some pretty joyless people in my time. Um... Oh. Right. Well, I will. Yeah, you go check. You go check on the bounty for and see if there's any update on any of uh, on either. I'm gonna look for all the. Yeah, I'm gonna look for all the open bounties that are in there. After I try to look for that guy. Sure. Do try not to turn us in if ours is too big. Yeah, I'll try. Appreciate it. <laughs> um. So I want to get a sense. What's everyone doing right now? And then we'll figure out where where we go first. Lux and I are hanging out. <laughs> Lux, I and Lux and I are hanging out on the ship, as far as I know. Oh, I know. oh yeah. Leon, you wanted other... Fred stick hacking to happen. You Jack, you muted. Again. Yeah. No, that's uh. I keep forgetting about the damn cred stick. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Lux that's why repeats. I got confused. <laughs> I'm sorry. Other stuff like the fate of many small children got in the way. Sure, but yeah. You read it right there. Ten years ago or so, just for the record. <laughs> yes, like, yes, yes. I will go ahead and do that before I go and. Do we have to slice it? I yes. have to look into it and see how much is there at the very least. I just slot it into a data pad and no, dump it out? No, you absolutely give me that. You absolutely cannot. Which is to say, yes, you physically can if you want to die. How would a cred stick kill me? So many ways. I so feel many like you might theories. be overestimating the intelligence of the people that literally walked up to a ship of armed guards and said, hey, why don't you betray the people who paid you to bring you here? No, because see, what happened was I lifted their cred stake and I checked to see how much was on it because they were like, hey, we'll double or whatever how much you're being paid. There's a little bit on it, but it's also connected to an account that I can't access. Mm -hmm. Which is, for the record, how most cred sticks are set up. You don't yeah, just right. have all of your money freely av available to transfer on no, your no, cred stick. No, no, it's, it's yeah. all floated on. Yeah, like, it's an account yeah. and then also all floated. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. No, I'm not talking about this thing, like, blowing up. Although that is a distinct possibility with these sometimes. I'm talking about I, there being tracing equipment on it, and that isn't reliant on how smart the people that we took it off was. That relies on how smart the people who the end account have. I think you're being a little overcautious. That's fine. I'm... And there's a there's a ever so slight smile Curious. on his face. Okay. <laughs> All right, I will go and and, and hack this cred. So because this is probably going to be pretty out. fast, we'll do this first. Um, <laughs> difficulty three because this is this is bank security. It's fairly good. 
right. Um, Understandably. And I am going to flip a dark side point. Right. This yep. can only end well. Um, Come on, Sombra. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I, w- I want to look at my talents here really quick. See if there's anything that applies. You have to, you have to one hand hack it or it won't work. Um, that doesn't work. Uh, no, no. So I, okay, I'll just rely on natural okay. programmer if I have to. Hack the planet. I mean, two successes and a, and a, a, a threat. Threat. I will. T- I will stick with that. Sure, you could roll better. I could roll much, much worse. <laughs> it's true. All right, with two successes and a single threat, um, you don't manage to like get the money out of the account, but you get a fairly good idea of um, where the account originates. That's Seems important. Seems like it was no. set up. Um, in the name of actually the guy you probably took it off of. Um, okay. In the name of their leader, um, and Van Tool. Yes, Van Tool. That is correct. Seems like it was set up in Van Tool's name. Um, it's just an independent account um, with one of the more respected, but also more willing to just do things for who anyone banks. Um, that has some moderate ties to the Hut Clan, but all the banks do, kind of, so right. it's probably a throwaway there. Um, but you start tripping a few wires, and you don't necessarily want to, to push deal with it, yeah. to push it too far, so that's where you Do not stop. anger anything with ties to Huts if you can help it, yeah. particularly when their money is involved. Um, like the bank itself, not this particular account, right? But yeah, so I couldn't, I wasn't able to pull off of it. Do I know how much? Um, the account Can itself, we, yes, is pretty sizable. They definitely could have doubled your paycheck, if. okay? Many thousands, of- yeah, many thousands of credits. Then again, this is probably sustaining at least a decent sized portion of their organization, so. All right. Um, so I will hand it over to Rerun. Um, provide all the information. So yeah, it's it, it's it's set up in Van Tool's name. It's uh, it's it's bank with hut ties. Nothing out of the ordinary. They're big account, but I wasn't. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out another avenue in to actually start yanking creds out. He'll take the cred stick and just stash it away then. Hmm. Yeah. It's a rainy day cred stick. All right. So, next thing we're going to deal with, you're going to the bounty office. I am. I have right. a picture of that guy. and. Mm-hmm. Remind me, I'm imagining this is a picture of his corpse. It was before, well, yeah, it was before anything happened to him. I don't remember exactly what happened to him. When, I'm uh, pretty sure he, was he didn't get lit on fire. Yeah, he didn't oh, get no, lit on fire. Oh, no, he died in the crate. Yeah, he died he in the crate. He got shocked to death. No, no, this was the no, guy that... No, he got that... set on fire. No, this no, is, this no, is, this this is, is the guy when I flipped it. Oh, this is the guy whose who's, who's neck got broken or something. Yeah, yeah. something happened. Um, when you flip a crate with a whole bunch of severely injured people in it, sometimes they die. Yeah. Sometimes they die. Um, 
But yeah, I pulled um, him off to the corner before okay. because I didn't want the live people that I didn't know would not be alive for very much longer to have to deal with a corpse in their midst. Fortunately, <laughs> well, they didn't have to deal with it for long. Yeah. So yeah. Just gonna walk up in the in the office and ask them to if they have they can search through their database for this guy's anybody but matching this guy's picture. Right. Again, it's kind of a saloon layout. Many of mm-hmm. the um, many the bounties are posted, though they of course okay. accept other people. Um, and the guy at the desk. Gives you a roll of the, roll of the eyes and nod. Takes the um, takes the paper. Or I'm sorry, takes the, the picture. Yeah. And looks it over. Runs it through. He's wanted but alive. <laughs> That's no. when we full on weaken and bur- weekend at Bernie's. That shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Why is Weekend at Bernie's so topical right now? <laughs> because <laughs> he's just carrying around dead bodies. I'm just picturing that No, they're I alive. just keep on hearing references to it, and I'm like, did something if... happen to the horror franchises I don't care about? Um, <laughs> if... well, and he puts it, not in the planetary database. I can, I'll do a check through the national databases have that info for you in an hour. Uh, Want a drink? Yeah, I'll take a drink. Uh, well, the thing is that he died, so don't really want to hold on to him for too long because it starts stinking up the ship. Uh, yeah, I'll have the info for an, you in an hour, or you can dump okay. the corpse and not take any reward there might be. Yeah, I'll wait the hour, and I'll go look at the open bounties he, that they have he posted. He starts pouring you some some variety of brown liquid. Doesn't seem to care what you're ordering. Shove it across the table for you. That'd be four credits. I'll give him... I'll sniff it first. Does it even smell like alcohol? Oh, yeah. It smells like alcohol. That, okay. that parameter is met. <laughs> it smells like capital A alcohol. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll give him four credits. We'll snap that up. Get on to the next person. Yeah, and then I'll go look at the their open bounty wall for right. and see if I can find, uh, see if they have anything for Lux or Sen. All right, make me a vigilance, Jack. <coughs> vigilance. Vigilance. Uh, difficulty? Vigilance. Difficulty of... There's a lot of bounties up here, and you don't necessarily know exactly what you're... You're looking primarily for Lux and Sen. I'll say difficulty of three. Um, and I'm flipping a dark side point. <laughs> I will flip a light side. I will change so, nothing on my end. <laughs> that's just an upgrade, right? Upgrade on both ends. Upgrade on both sides, yes. A threat. Both of the upgrades did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you're looking at the board, and no, there's a few more low low-effort bounties that have come in since you were last here, but none that catch your eye. You don't see anything for anyone you know. Um, um, it's actually pretty boring and empty at this point. Okay. Uh, is there any bounties for... Uh, shit, I guess it would be... Suspected, suspected rebel involvement or whatever. I mean, they don't necessarily list the crime would, yeah. most yeah. of the time when it's okay. stuff like that. So nothing that you see with a, with okay. just one threat. People accused of sedation. 
Yeah. S sedition, I think, is what sedition. you're looking at. Yeah. Sedation, <laughs> sedation is something is they do at hospitals. Make, right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sedition was the term of It's not my fault A's and E's are very similar. It's an I. <laughs> Not my fault. A, I, and E are very similar. Uh, I'm so happy with how this is turning out. <laughs> no, there's so, yeah. just someone I you probably answer. don't want to go after who's suspected of sedating people. But yeah. <laughs> there is someone suspected of sedating people. But that's that's a different thing. That's a weird name, Stefan. <laughs> Knezovich? What? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So yeah, I'll just wait the hour. I'll just have the I'll baby the one drink. Right. Um, we're gonna segue back, and we'll come right mm -hmm. back to you. Um, with the ship shipbound crew rerun, you have that new info. Anything you're gonna do with uh, that? Your research. I uh, uh, f new info from the cred stick. You mean? Yep. And you uh, also had research you did while on the ship. Yes. Um, and yes, with the uh, research that he did while he was on the ship, he is going to go out and try to accumulate some parts for some eventual droid crafting that he wants to do. Hey. Creator of droid nations. <laughs> yes. Or scrap heap. We'll either one. We'll find out. Yes, we will. Um, yes. Meanwhile, while I'm looking that up, Lux, then, anything? Sitting back, tossing, like, base equivalent of a beat, like a, like a... So, so yeah, what I you, will... What waiting for? <laughs> I say to, to Lux. I mean, I literally just handed the cred stick over to rerun yes like rerun just walked out of the cockpit <laughs> so aren't you supposed to be like the patient and like I am not really patient no you're not um, and believe me, this is me saying that. So, what have, um, I done, what have I done to make you think I'm not? I am not even going to dignify that for the response. So, I will go ahead and... Uh, um... Grab the picture that I that that I took. Uh, uh, put on a personal drive, and look. Then I will be back. I'm going to try to pass this information along. Like me to come with you? No, <laughs> not in this case. All right, I will um, guard the ship. Yeah, that, that I mean, basically, um, I don't want to. I don't want to find the the correct contact people on the ship because, well, tracing, um, and we still don't have. We, we still there might be somebody looking for you, trying to kill you more than normal. So, yeah. So I will. I will head off the ship i'm gonna grab my my slicing gear um head off the ship and i'm gonna find me somewhere to uh um, um just somewhere on in 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 the starport vicinity that i can do a little bit of looking because i i believe we're at a different spot on dantuin than where I physically made contact before, correct? So, when I asked if you guys were using a different... You can retcon this. Um, yeah. It'll cost a decimal point. You said you were using the same location. So, again, okay. it's walkable. Right. I, I, again, I was thinking same location to this mission 
or I know they were both on Dantooine, but I swear they were in different different spots on Dantooine. Um, so the two missions were you both you got both of them from this starport. Okay. So never mind. I never mind. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. That's, no, that's that is, probably my fault. <laughs> well, no, that is my inaccurate under uh, 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 remembrance. You so, didn't remove the ship when you were doing it, so I'll say that you could still walk. In to that the other case, place. fuck it. I'm just gonna walk there. I um, I'm going to since get they a... liked me just showing up at their doorstep last time. I'm going to right. get. I'm going to get like a lawn chair. And okay, that's up. gonna cost you money. That's fine. I anyway, how am I, whatever, and I'm just going to set it up like on the end of the cargo bay ramp. Uh, and I'm just gonna like chill in a lawn chair on the on the cargo bay ramp. <laughs> how was a lawn chair? Are, how you, a are chair you going more? full Kaylee? Really expensive. A folding chair is more expensive than a blaster. Yes, actually. <laughs> that's fine. I'm, glad I'm pretty that. sure that's also true in America. You have gone full Kaylee. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> You're going to come with us. For the listeners, <laughs> I'm saying that the lawn chair you can find at the airport costs 150 credits. <laughs> Leave the goddamn airport. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not. I'm not. You told me to watch the ship, so I'm staying. Um. Okay. Hey, it's out of your money. Yep. I don't care. Yep. I am. I am going to sit in a lawn chair at the edge of the cargo bay ramp, keeping an eye out on the state. Is the um? Is the um? Is the is the does it does this uh, spaceport have like an open air hangar or does it have hangar bay doors? Or... Um, the part that you park in has hangar bay doors. There is an open air area. But it's mostly for landing, departure, like loading type of stuff. Okay. Yeah. So I'll, and, and, yeah, I'll just sit at the sort of get get comfortable, lean back, and just wait. <laughs> All right. Um. Just to so I have a clearer picture. You're outside of the. You've lowered the ramp, and you're outside. Like on the ramp, like at the end of. The ramp. Okay. You are. Outside where the other people also are, not inside the ship. It is. It is exactly the scene from the first episode of Firefly. Okay. And I am am Kaylee, except without without a parasol. And a lot less attractive. (laughs) In your opinion. In my opinion. Also a droid. (laughs) Like I said. I was going to say, and we're talking about Kaylee. Um, so, uh, ugh. rerun, you're shopping. Make yes. me a shopping roll. There's, there's a roll. Uh, streetwise? Uh, yeah. Skullduggery? What are we talking about? Okay. Um, well, Actually, no. Rarity 2, you're not going to need to make me a shopping roll. That's just if you were looking for something that's a little more black market. Yeah. Um, but I am going to need you to make a roll because this is an interesting situation for you. Um, I'm going to need you to make a discipline roll. Okay, what's my difficulty? Difficulty of... I'm gonna say three. Okay. Uh, Two successes, one. Whoops, nope, didn't take the difficulty. Hang on a second. Let's try that again. (laughs) I was like, damn, I did great. (laughs) One success, two threat. There we go. Okay. So you're wheeling around doing your droid on errands thing, going to go get, um, you wanted a chassis for, like, building that medical droid. Mm-hmm. Um, well, this one is not going to be the medical droid. This one's oh, just, okay. this, this is me working my way up to, yep. also I'm, doing, I'm doing a simple project before I do. You should also up. get parts to replace all the ones you stripped from the ship. 
I did not strip hardly any parts from the ship. The only ship, sh the only ship parts you stripped were for the tracker. Right. You did not put those back because while the tracker still exists, it is not necessarily disassemblable. Right. Um. And you. You're wheeling through um, essentially the area that is the primary droid market. There's more reputable and more shady sellers, but this is getting on your nerves a little bit. You are able to keep your composure if you so choose, <laughs> but you are walking past um, deactivated droids with signs on them, that sort of thing. Um, There are restraining bolts around. None of them are on you. Um, <laughs> Waiting for him to like start like be, like going wild and, and just sticks him with like him. in this. This is Dantooine. It's not reputable, but it's also not the kind of shady where someone's stupid enough to steal a droid that's doing errands. Cause... Right. I'm I'm not in dire threat of being kidnapped yeah. off the street okay you're you're fairly certain you're not in any danger but it may still rile you up a bit to be in this situation and you can get the thing you're looking for at market price unless you want to try and negotiate um um he's going to He's going to try and get his pri p parts at market cost. Okay. Um, but he's also going to try and keep an eye out for if there are any restraining bolt bearing droids that are also doing similar tasks to me. They're, i.e. solo errand running without supervision. Okay. Basically, is anybody dumb enough to just trust their restraining bolt to have their droid get the job done? <laughs> All right. Um, make me a vigilance check difficulty of two. Okay. And vigilance. One success. Okay. With one success, um, there are a few droids you see around with restraining bolts. However, most of them are working at the shops or not going too far or with, um, with organics. Um, okay. There, you do swap one droid that has a restraining bolt on that's with a group of several other droids that do seem to be in some capacity shopping. Okay. Um, that's, that's the one with the restraining bolt because it it has the un the unstoppable urge to kill everything in sight when it's. <laughs> uh, but it's being accompanied by a number of other droids as well. Yes, and you don't see any restraining bolts for the other droids. There's about four of them. Um, in this unit. I'm going to attempt to determine what they're up to then, and if there's particularly apparent reason why this one's restrained, but none of the other ones are. Make me a streetwise check. Difficulty of three. This is an unusual situation. Okay. I will spend a light side point. Yeah. You don't. <laughs> are you I being a Lysander? <laughs> All right, and you said streetwise. Okay. Can I one success, side? one threat. I mean, the most um, the most common or logical answer would simply be that um, some of these droids are pro programmed in such a way that, or are willing participants in whatever they're doing or and one of them isn't 
or um, possibly one of them just has a restraining bolt on for some reason you're not quite sure of. Like, you can think of some possible reasons, but it's not common. It's, it is possible that this is someone's droid and they have droids they trust more accompanying it um, in that sort of way, but... Okay. Well, if I've got my stuff, I'm going to take a few minutes to watch, and if there's an opportunity to get it alone by itself, he will take... He will, he will try to do that. Okay. Let's... <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not going to make you roll again for washing because you've already got a decent beat on them, but I do want you to make a stealth check just to okay. see how much you manage to be unnoticed while you continue to observe this group. Out of curiosity, and... what kind of droid is it? Um, seems to be an R2 unit, maybe an R3 unit. Um, okay. Rerun hasn't been able to get a much closer look at that than definitely an astromech. Do I have a, uh, do I have a difficulty on my stealth roll or do I just roll it and see what standard diff stealth, di stealth rolls are typically standard difficulty of two. Oh, okay. Um, and this is more of a baseline in case anyone starts looking for you than a so Clean that's a wash, wash. <laughs> um speaking of firefly references <laughs> okay before this becomes the we love firefly show instead of the we love overwatch show <laughs> but we um, do love firefly and overwatch all i said we was do. speaking of firefly <laughs> but we also have a subject at hand um yes we do You are keeping an eye on them. It, there's a few points where the droid is left with only one other droid, but there's no point at which this droid is entirely alone. Okay. Well. And after a few minutes, they seem to have completed their business. You notice they are buying food and other things that you suspect would be for organics. Mm -hmm. Um because usually most droids don't eat apples. Right. That sort of thing. <laughs> um, well, I'm a very, I'm a very uh, neophyte revolutionary, so I'm not going to attempt to start the uprising here and now. Hmm? Angry droids. <laughs> <laughs> so after I've done my lurking and watching, I will take my ball and go home. Okay. <laughs> You've got your key thing that you were looking for, and you're headed out. Um, next, Lux, are you, yes. I'm assuming you're headed there somewhat subtly? Yes. Okay, make me a difficulty to stealth check just as a baseline. Or okay. are you? I mean, that is the plan. Um, difficulty two. Bo, 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 bo. We want run to come back to the sling. One success. No threats. Song of anger. No, nothing. <laughs> As we established, angry droids, not angry men. Um, okay, you're taking some side streets, just keeping your head down, trying not to be too noticeable. Um, which, given your specialty, is not a particular challenge. Um, Cody, do you leave to go do that from the Bounty Center during the time? I was going to do that on the way back. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait for him, and then, yeah, I'm just doing... I'll, I'm just sorry. I'm trying to chat, balance so. a lot of things at once because yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just putting it um, there so I don't forget. Right. Um. Okay. So Lux, um, you arrive back again at this 
part of the city that's more naturalistic with mm -hmm. these weird buildings that are almost trees. Um, they arrive again at the same door. Nondescript for this area, but this is a weird area that you cannot determine the actual function of. Um, right. I will wait there for a couple of, wait there in front of the door for, for about 10, 15 seconds, just so give them time to potentially notice that I'm there. So it's not like a, you know, Oh shit, someone's there. And then I will knock sound alarm, whatever it was. I can't remember um, if there was actually a, 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 you know, doorbell, um, so to speak. The door slides open again. The inside is a dark space. Um, you can't make out much of the interior like before, but there is um, a different person than you met before. A young man, um, young, look at the counter. Hello. Oh. Hello. Um, I was wondering, um, I made a, I, ma I, I made a delivery here recently. Um, uh, a, a, I'm go, can I get maybe a, a, a perception roll to see if there's like any indication from him of like, look out for these individuals if they're coming by dropping stuff, you know, so yeah. any recognition or anything like okay, that. Okay, that's going to be a cool role. Okay, um, even better. Turns out. I am okay with that. Uh, standard diff? Standard difficulty, yeah. Okay. That is a success, an advantage, and a triumph. So if you have any strain, you can use the triumph to remove three strain. I Otherwise, you can use it for insight for additional insight if you would additional like. Additional insight. I'm. <coughs> is that there's any recognition? Um, if there is, like I. I'm trying to figure out how to how how to how to say it. Like if he is um just indications that I'm talking to somebody I want to be talking to. Right. Um and not like this place has been taken over by the Empire. You know. Mm -hmm. He seems hesitant. He Maybe naturally shy would be the best term. Okay. But he does. Your general read is that he um, he is aware of you as like someone, um, and that perhaps um, that he does. He seems he doesn't seem particularly am imperial. He okay doesn't like you're really similar but matches the general demeanor of the woman you met here previously um Perfect. a bit skittish probably on the edge of paranoid but not hostile mm -hmm. okay so um and with your triumph you do notice that he's glancing around the room almost as if he's trying to make sure no one else came in with you that sort of thing that's fair. Um, so, okay, he's behind like a desk or. or yeah, or he, he's like staying behind his desk at this point. Okay. So, so I walk up. Uh, I walk up. So, yeah, I, I drop something off and I just hop up and sit on the desk. <laughs> he scoots back a little um, bit. 
That's fine. I, 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 I'm hoping to put him at a little bit unease. A small monitor that you couldn't actually see when you jumped up. Like, mm-hmm. switch that so you can't see it. Okay. Um. um I was hoping that you could, um, I, 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 I dropped something off to be passed on to relevant parties. Um, uh, I'd sort of swing over and like, so I've got one leg like on the, on it and the other one sort of. Like it's in the the ankle is in the crook, so I'm just sort of sitting there on the desk. I am doing my best to make him uncomfortable, um, in the hopes that like maybe he'll call in somebody above him. But if not, that's fine. Um, uh, I I I was hoping that um, uh, the 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 people that I had made the drop off for I could potentially um, uh, I know that it had been said at the time that it's not really how it works and I completely get that but this is sort of an important situation I would really love to get in contact with some with with, with those people um he, he sort of looks around the room again. I, it's okay. It's wait, just me. Okay. You're... That, that may depend on what you need. Um, are you... Are you a client? Or are you a mercenary? At... What do you need? What? Who do you... I guess, who are you trying to speak to might be the, a good first question. Um, so, there are... Um, I'm trying to get in touch with um, a certain, uh, shall we say... Uh, uh, uppity, uh, um, so upstart type individuals. Um, uh, uh, people who, who, who defy the status quo. Um, um, iconoclasts, I guess, suppose you could say. Um, about a situation, and I, I would love to tell you more, but I promise that if you don't know who I'm talking about already, you don't want to know. Um, except for to say that um, um, uh, several no, people's no, well-being I, I may be at stake. Part. What I'm, what I'm trying to figure out, and what would I need to know to go mm-hmm. forward is. What you... It's no... There's no point in... <sighs> oh, I'm so glad you just said that. Look, oh, what I need to know... Um, is mostly... What you want out of us. Do you want... A job? Are you an aide? Are you someone who's in an information network? Or are you looking for what upstarts might offer to the galaxy? What we might... Things from us or... That is a very fair question. Um, What should I call you? Uh, Terry. Terry? Yeah. Terry. Um, I will take option E, all of the above. In this particular case, though, as is relevant to what I need to talk with people right now, I would say that it is a situation where um, it is, but it is something that I think may be very beneficial. 
So it is something where I am offering aid, but uh, I and people that I represent need help to to bring this to help this come to pass. Does that make sense? Yeah. I get that you don't want to talk more to me, but you're going to need to be more specific with my boss if you of need course. that help. And, of course. Um, he taps a few buttons, once again, really far out of your sight. You couldn't even make a guess at mm -hmm. what he's typing on what okay. um, in this case. So I don't try to peek. Yep. And a floorboard you hadn't noticed as being any different from anything else in the room slides away and there is a staircase that becomes visible. Just go down, there's... And good luck. I hope we can help. Thank you. And I am so sorry, but kind of. Anyways... And I will get up, get up off the desk and head down. You hear mutterings about those damn Zeltron behind you. <laughs> um, Perfect. This really awkward little Twilight boy's um, tail twitch. <laughs> Just in discomfort. Uh, um, Twilight, the cat people awesome. of Star Wars. <laughs> there are actual oh, cat people in Star Wars. They're yeah. the flavor race. They're yes, no, well, but the stereotypical image of the cat girl. No, no, the Cathar, oh, the, the Cathar, while also while being cat people, are less cat-like than the Twi'lek. <laughs> Depends on which kind of cat you're going at. Dominant and has no regard for any other species. I mean, yeah, it's very cat-like. They're, they're like they're, <laughs> the 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 Cathar are like big jungle cats, and the Twi'lek are like domesticated. Yeah, I saw her on down. Um, oh. uh, then you head down. You head down into a, what feels like a hollowed out route, maybe, that this staircase leads through. Mm -hmm. um, and it twists around, going on for perhaps longer than it would be just to get to a floor beneath to a small room. Again, this space is dark, but there are a few lights, enough so that you can roughly see what's going on. Um, and there's a set of monitors, some of which probably are monitoring the front door, the entrance room, a few other things like that, um, that do okay. flick off pretty quickly as you enter. Mm -hmm. So, walk in. Um. um, a man pulls, who has a hood pulled, you can't see much of his features. Okay. But I'm going to go, correct? You, yes, that is correct. That actually draws sort of a pause briefly, but not too much of one. Um, is there somewhere for me to sit down? He gestures um, okay. to what you now notice there is some like tree ish shaped chair stool thing. Okay. That seem to have cropped out of the ground. It's it's very weird architecture. You've never quite been anywhere like this before. So I settle into one. So um I have information that I think you may want to, add, similar to last time, only this is, uh, I, I think, <sighs> there's a little more investment this time. Um, I have information that you may want to act on. We would do it ourselves, but I don't think that we can handle the, it alone. And... Okay. Uh, That's why we're here. Yes. Um, well, it's particularly... So, uh, if I were to... And I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm going to pull up the picture of the lightsaber on, my, uh, uh, on the thing. 
and go if i were to if i were to show you this i'm curious what your reaction would be and i'm gonna put put up and show it to him and then i'm gonna make a perception roll <laughs> or um, cool, roll. So cool roll percep- yeah okay cool would be cool is good because i have more dice than cool yeah. um <laughs> I don't mean to be mean, but what's typically perception is like four different roles in this system. Yeah. No, the, no <laughs> I, I, I yeah. actually really like that because perception yeah. is one of those. Yeah. It's really broad, and I like that it's multiple things, but I also don't want to feel deceptive when I'm like, sorry, that's not really a perception check. Yep. I and am. I am flipping a light side. Okay. I am the collateral on this exchange. <laughs> Uh, difficulty? Help us, we can do Jedi. Difficulty of three, you're in a dark room with a guy with a thing over his head. Yes, Even I've... if he's not hard to read, it's going to be hard. Um, yeah, no, that makes sense. So that is three successes and two threats. Well, with that role, maybe it's going to be hard was an overstatement. Um, <laughs> he's a lot less surprised than he than you'd expect. It, okay. it seems to surprise him that you just pulled up a picture of a lightsaber, but it's not like, where did you get this holy shit surprise? It's more, I'm surprised this is information you're sharing with me. So uh-huh. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised it is too, but... <laughs> you see sort of of his I jaw. I told me to. <laughs> I would say... That if there's something around this, we can help. I can. That we're here for all the people throughout the galaxy that are doing their own small part. Mm-hmm. When things happen outside of their depth, that's what we're here for. Okay. That is amazing news. I'm I'm very glad to hear that. Um, we have recently in our in our 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 line of work picked up information that leads us to believe that there are a a group of of um, potentials was the word used out there and help me out other people on uh, other people do we have more specific information on where they are or was that mm-hmm. carter was still they, that was that. intentionally kept from us yeah that's what i think um, they were in we we i think the one extra bit of thing we do know no you go first um uh is that the person, the which way that you know, I don't know, but you know, is that the person that they were given to the care of, it was formerly a separatist. Yes. Um, okay. And that I'm concerned that they may have, it, whatever place they were at might have been safe at one point in time, but may be safe no longer. Yeah. Right. Um, and you also, Carter explicitly said she wasn't willing to share that with you and you didn't That's correct. Ask. And Sen sort of explicitly didn't ask. Yeah. Um, right. So, no, you don't have any okay. additional info beyond that. That, that. Those two bits are the... Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, Sorry, at this point, that's all. A lot of exposition. Yeah. <laughs> at this point, that's all I'll say is that there are some what were referred to as potentials uh, out there. Not certain if in danger or not, but there is that possibility. I, I have to be honest with you. On both, on all sides of this conflict, there's been suspicion of and it even strong reports of Jedi or potential or force user survivors. I can't necessarily, that's not enough for us to be able to help very much. 
I can say, and I realize that this is the this is taking on the state of my judgment, which which you don't have necessarily any reason to um, uh, view as, as as credible or incredible at this point. Um, this isn't. This is not simply rumor. I can't, I don't have, I do not yet have specific information. We are, I am hoping that at some point we will be able to get that. Right now, this was not, this is not, this meeting is not me coming to you and saying, here's information, go out and deal with it. It's more, This is the information that we that that we have come across, which I believe to be a hundred percent credible. Um, should we get more and enough that is is feasible to act on? Is this something that we could potentially come to you with? The promise of future health is a heavy burden and I can't promise to raid an imperial facility for of you course at this time, not. but yes, if it's not something that you're not said, it's not something that for. okay. That's good to know. Um there are people that I am representing in this conversation. Um I gather um, not many potentials have. Yes. Um, who I may have a need or desire to put into contact with you directly. Is there an easier way than just showing up and 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 and, and terrifying your poor um, uh, receptionists? As much fun of as that is. I think there's much concern for your well-being of anything, and he'll slide something, a small communicator across the okay. desk. Wonderful. It's highly encrypted, but do be careful that it doesn't fall into the wrong hands, as it's implicitly <clears throat> incriminating. Yes, I worry not I know how to handle that. Um, all right, that is much appreciated. Um, I said I don't have much more than I that I can offer on this situation at this point, um, but should uh, hopefully we will we will find out more or I will have more to bring to you. If so, uh, I'll be making contact. May the force be with you. Sure, and I grab it and I stand up. <laughs> Well, now they know that nice. it's not your lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of wanted to make it clear that is not my lightsaber, <laughs> because then they're less like <laughs> they're less likely, on the off chance that I am reading this wrong, they are somewhat less likely to immediately murder me in the street. Um, and yeah, I will grab the tra the, the the communicator. And head out. Okay. And next, head back to the ship. We're everyone's done their errand. Yay! Um, Yay! Last call for errands before we cycle to later with Cody. Or, I you know, to <laughs> Pretty sure you're the only errand we need to deal with now. <laughs> <laughs> um. So back at the bounty office. Um. Kraz, you, um, you've been sitting there for just around an hour when, um, Tropkeep comes up to you. Sorry, we don't have anything on that guy. Have a nice right. day. I figured it was a long shot. Okay. Thanks for the drink. And I assume you're now going to do that shopping? Yeah, I'm just grabbing those two things. Um, what's the rarity on those items? One. Okay. 
You can be at both of them at market value. Okay. Yeah, 350 credits. Keep um, item. Still yep. most of what I have. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Just get 500 credits? Yeah. That's most. 350 ah. is most of 500. <laughs> but I have okay. some others. So, as Lux and Praz are heading back, as Rerun's finishing up his shopping, Something and the ship blows up. As I'm sitting right outside it. Yep. Sen, the ship does not combust. Yes. However, <laughs> someone you recognize does walk over. Um, a woman wearing deep, dark sunglasses um, that you actually remember having purchased. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll go. Well, it's interesting to see that you followed us to Dantooine. Followed is a strong word. Left you one place, we came here, you came after, following work. You've been here since. For a ship crew, you stay in one place for a long time. Oh, we left and came back, but... Hmm. I'm, st I'm remaining on my launch. Okay. Is there something we can do for you? Maybe. I was hoping to have a chat. It's a little public here. You should come by my place later. She'll slide across an address. Take it. Got it. Is it another starport? Um, it's a little ways off from the starport, but it is essentially like an apartment. Like a short term in. Sure. It's an Airbnb. Ah, <laughs> uh, tonight, if you feel like it. Um, I really would prefer if you come alone. <laughs> and she'll walk off. No acknowledgement of the entendre on his. <laughs> she has Get very it. little herself. Yet I speak of when 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 force users speak of these things, it's not as carnal as the Zeltron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your version of "come to this place tonight" is often "I'm gonna beat you up." <laughs> yeah, it is. or fights it for. Fun. Um, we must have a duel at midnight. Meet <laughs> me out back by the by the posts. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I will information. Look at the uh, the dress, pocket it. Continue waiting for everyone to get back. Okay. And as everyone rolls back in individually, you see me cargo bay, just sort of relaxing on like on a lawn chair. I pause. Look, that's adorable. <laughs> No, I'm saying that with 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 a complete lack of sarcasm or or, or irony or yeah. To or, which Shinstaku's response was what? No, no, that that thing is what what I just said is what Lux is just saying. Yes, and what yes. Shinstaku <laughs> said in response was what? <laughs> so you said what twice? Yes. He walks inside. It's it's a decent lawn chair. <laughs> it's it's not I'm particularly just saying, colorful. The juxtaposition is amazing. I love it. <laughs> um, I right, continue waiting for everyone else to. All right. Everyone's back. I will pack up the lawn chair. Put it in my because it's. You know, everyone needs a launch. At least I need a launch. 
Yep. Rerun just goes and drops off his parts in his room and then sorts through them and then arranges them in a slightly different order and then sorts through them again. So, so right. do you like have like a crate of parts that you're just dragging behind you when you come back? No. Mm -mm. He's. How are you carrying it? It's silhouette zero, the thing that I'm making. So I mean, he's literally just carrying it in his own personal storage compartments. Ah. Yep. Making like a. Big... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is gonna be like a mouse droid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. With some extra bits. Mm -hmm. All right. And to get back. Yep, I come well, back. <clears throat> Any updates from anybody? Nothing really happened. Yeah, no, that... Here, shit. No bounty for that guy. As far as I can tell, no bounty for you guys. Oh. Well, always a bounty for us, whether or not they're hunting for it. Yeah, yeah, well, whether or it's not, not here it's yet. been... Good to know. One of our former passengers came by and gave me an address. Which one? The Mialek, uh, the, uh, Miraluka. Miraluka. Mm. Really? Yes, she apparently is also on Dantooine. She asked me to meet really? her later tonight. Really? <laughs> Not fair. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm. Well, okay then. Why are you looking at me like that, Lux? Jealousy? No, just... Hardly. I know. <laughs> um... <laughs> I I don't know. Maybe I, it's just just recent events. I'm a little paranoid. That's all. Mm, um, sure. it would certainly be the one of the more clever traps. Send a known associate that has some sympathy towards the person you're attempting to trap to quest them alone, in the privacy of an apartment, away from their ship and allies. Right. Certainly wouldn't be unreasonable for it to be. No, not at all. That's why I'm telling um, you. Yes. Um, I mean, you're not going alone, right? Why not? At least he thinks ahead. And on that note of frustration, we're going to take a quick break. All right, we're back in two minutes. Stretch legs, go drink. And you can choose to imagine Lux's silent scream stretching this entire it's, time. It's, it's Lux's face palms so hard, yeah. she hits the back end of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Wham! Goes flying. Uh, D-fucking-lightful. She's going to face palm so hard, she actually, her hand will go and high-five the Miraluka.
Fighter back! So I have just looked at Lux and said, of course I'm going alone. And Lux facepalmed so hard as to launch herself into the back of the ship. Um, <laughs> launch us into a break, and now we're back from that break. Why? Why? Why would you possibly go alone? Because if I'm See, going into a counter, if I'm going into an encounter that could potentially be a trap with a mind reader who told me to come alone, then I have to go alone. And he's giving you such a perfect blank stare that hopefully you get what he's saying. Oh, I get it. I'm nowhere and around, And I say it so. just like that. <laughs> I'm not worried about what you might... I'm not worried about what mental preparations you may have. Or... The... This is why your people were so easy to kill. <laughs> I the, swear, the, the, the Ashan or Jedi? Because technically, only one of them are my people. You know what I mean. You need to be more specific, comrades. The Ashan are not all dead, no, so I not. think you know which one I mean. In fact, they're noted galaxy wide for being some of the finest warriors in the galaxies. Yes. And I feel like Sen says that with the intonation of somebody who has literally said that phrase verbatim almost every day of his life. Just just like the offhanded, just it like comes out automatically. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Catchphrase. Um I'm not saying that I do not Okay, I am saying that I don't trust this person. Obviously but I'm not saying that I'm not willing to trust this person. But it does seem to be quite a coincidence, doesn't it? It's a massive coincidence. Then it's not a coincidence. Probably not, no. Which is why, if I'm going, meeting, mind reader, who expects me to be alone... I'm going to be alone. Okay, no, that is 100% fine. You can go there all by yourself, but you're not going to actually be by yourself. See, that's this what time, he was hoping to sin avoid. This face palms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that one of us is going to be sneaking along beside you. I'm saying we're going to plant some device that we can track you with and possibly hear through. We're going to bug you. And not just in the annoying way. Because to the best of my knowledge, and you may, you may correct me on this, but to the best of my knowledge, I would hope that as long as the bug isn't like, you know, rerun it's... level of sentience, it can't have its mind read. No, but mine can. Can't you, like, block that shit or something? <laughs> it depends. I mean, you're pretty good at blocking it with me. If I... If, if a thought is a tangential idea that could potentially be a reality, therefore, if I said I was going alone, okay, and I told okay. you that I was going alone, and it was accepted that I was going alone, and then something else were to happen, that's easier to keep out of my mind than you saying, we're going to bug you, or we're going to be next to you. Okay, Which is fine. kind of why I had fine. set up this whole thing, and I had hoped you would have been smart enough to know that. But fine. apparently, fine. I put too much trust fine. in your skills. Shut up! <laughs> no, I picked on a... On a I, I point it, I, I like indicate to Praz. Praz got it. <laughs> that felt like an insult. <laughs> it felt like... <laughs> I know it wasn't. No, it so was. It wasn't. <laughs> Whether it was intentionally one or not, it was. Yeah. I just um, like the scene of Press got it. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Fine. 
You won't be. Here's an idea. Just think. I can't believe they wanted to bug me. <sighs> that's that's not confirming or denying it. Or we could actually just let you go alone, and then if we don't see you, it was a trap. <laughs> I, I, I take off my belt and I put it on the console and I walk out of the room <laughs> without saying anything else. Okay. I'm not leaving Asshole. the ship. I just left the belt on the console. Right. All right, all right. I'll create something and put it on. Wait, I'm not the one. Rerun. And you turn around, and he's already there holding something out at you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> because everyone but Lux caught on. <laughs> she was in the middle of her tangent. Lux she has is. had a rough couple of weeks, She guys. doesn't have this much when she's in the middle of her tangent. Because it's not her brain that's leading the way at that point. Uh, <laughs> So what's my retroactive crafting role, <laughs> Eric? Um, here's the question. Do you want to use the almost impossible to notice tracker you created before that's still hanging around on the ship? If it's still hanging around, yes. Yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was in the main room and you picked it up, so. Okay. Awesome. You would have to modify it slightly so it's a bug if you. Yes. If you want it to be able to pick up sound, difficulty one crafting check. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Can't wait for this to come back and bite I me. I can't wait for it to turn out that this was legitimately not what I thought it was. Three successes. And, there we go. And and like you end up listening to Sin having sex with the Miraluka all night. <laughs> yeah, this was this was a hot list hookup. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait, because they would. Hot let's list. just be honest. No, they no, no. Would I, th I, th I think it's. I think it's. I think it's the app hinder. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say. Right. <laughs> and, then, and like Lux is just like, oh, I didn't. What? <laughs> no, no. Lux will be listening to it and just being like, he's doing it wrong. No, he's, <laughs> yes. he's doing it wrong. <laughs> okay. With and three successes, you modify the making... stupid bug to be able to listen to whatever happens to happen. <laughs> we are the worst. <laughs> you guys are, it, you go interesting places with things, and that's great. <laughs> um, that wasn't a no, you're wrong. But can you <laughs> <go>? <laughs> You know, he's right. That was not. Yeah. That was not a you're Continue. wrong. Continue, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tangent over. Rerun, you've got a bug. It didn't take you very long because extra successes can be used to reduce time. Yep. It's not going to be able to pick up sound for very far. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's pretty. It's a pretty small mic, but you can yeah. probably pick up what Sam says at the very least, or anyone standing close to him. Cool. <clears throat> Would it be able to pick up sounds from, like, a bed that it was on the floor to? <laughs> <laughs> that's not a yes or a no. I don't know what that means. I feel like that's a yes. Okay. <laughs> that's a, I beat my head over the... I beat myself over the head with the rule book because you guys are doing it again. Um, so, that's so yeah, let's, <laughs> um, rerun, are you going to subtly plant it or basically just hand it to him? What do you want to do? I'm Don't giving it to Lux. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I subtly hand it to Lux. <laughs> Droids can be subtle. <laughs> So I feel yes, like that's as subtle as rerun gets. It's Since about I as have, subtle as rerun gets. <laughs> Since I have time, I will actually carefully hide it. Okay. Like not bury it in because then that muffles the audio, but like hide it on the inside of the belt. Fortunately, this belt is built to be able to conceal things. Yeah. It's got a little compartment that a lightsaber sits in the whole time. Yes, that's true. 
But if I put it in there and then it gets closed up, it's still muffling this. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is that the way this belt is designed, that is yeah. pretty easy. You don't need yeah. to make a check. Okay. I am so tempted to just pull out the lightsaber because he left it here and turn it on. <laughs> you, if, you, if you pull out the lightsaber, there's no switch. That ah, fucking thing's broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an internal activation switch. Just interesting, given that we have a character who can barely you use come his back. ability uh, for external. We things. couldn't find how to turn on your lightsaber, so we started looking into it. Uh, sorry, uh, point of, point of press. He broke it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we took it apart to see how it works. Well, we can't put it back together. Flipping the in <laughs> flipping the internal switch is. Just a, is 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 a passive enough ability that that's one of the few yeah. things I can do. It absolutely <laughs> is. I'm just I'm making <laughs> snarky commentary because I'm not sure what you guys are gonna do from here. <laughs> exactly I'm not gonna I do anything with the lightsaber. With internal switch so that people can't play with it and kill themselves. <laughs> I wouldn't kill myself. You're always, assume, always assume a lightsaber is loaded. Keep a lightsaber <laughs> yeah. pointed in a safe direction at all times. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Always point lightsaber If at you enemies. find a lightsaber laying on the ground, go call an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Do not use as recreational activity or for recreational activities of any kind. Always treat lightsaber with the respect it deserves. <laughs> <laughs> if happy okay. fun ball breaks. <laughs> as Lux and Prez, Lux, as Lux and Prez learn about lightsaber safety with a lightsaber that they can't activate. Um, <laughs> We're just making these jokes the whole time. <laughs> okay, Sen, what are you doing? I go take a shower. All right, just. Get pretty up. I mean, he doesn't really pretty up. He just cleans. Does anyone have anything pretty else they're up. doing before tonight? Uh, uh, no. Rerun's going to get started on his mechanics checks for the droid. Okay. I am going to just relax around the ship for the, for the time being. Because until we know whether whether our, 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 our Jedi has been carried off by the Empire, I'm not going to hand him information about the Rebellion. <laughs> <laughs> Praz right. is going to uh, look at the... Uh, I'm assuming you're sharing the address? I left the address on the console as well. Okay, yeah. So he would look at that and then look for nearby buildings. Because he wants to try his new electro binoculars. Crafting... <laughs> Unless this turns out to not be a trap. <laughs> then he's just going to go back to the ship. I mean, then you hand the electro binoculars to Lux. It's page, <laughs> it's page 80 in the uh, special modifications book. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Droid crafting. Yes. I remember reading through this and going, this is kind of how this is going to work. <laughs> um, so you're going with the basic project um, Okay. Yep, you can make that roll. I believe it requires standard difficulty. Uh, yes. Um, I'm gonna flip the dark side point because I think this is amusing, and you guys could use some light side points. Okay. <laughs> I will take it. I will not spend it right back. Okay, so upgrade difficulty by one. And mechanics. Where'd my mechanics go? There we go. Ouch. One failure, two advantage. 
Okay. So let me um, see what I can spend for that. See what I can spend. Um, it blows up in your face. No, well, I don't succeed at making it, but can I spend those two advantage for a lesson learned? Reduce difficulty of character's next crafting check by one? Yep. And nope. I'm spending the two threats for a difficult to customize. Given you learn your lesson and you're gonna gonna Wait, be what, better two threats? Two advantage, not two threats. Oh, I got two advantage mind. and a failure. Yeah. I was gonna say I don't think you have anything to spend on that one. It just doesn't work. No, I do not. I am <laughs> okay. smart and can read well. It's all <laughs> good. Yeah. They're, they're so all you don't story. you've you don't manage to succeed, but you do learn your lessons, and the... It'll be easier the next time I try. It'll be easier the next time, which is kind of the point of this project, if I'm understanding right. It totally is. <laughs> and you don't, like, destroy the materials completely. That's here. Cool. So, as the time, as the requested time approaches, I finish rest and grab my belt and address the console. Put the belt okay. on. Head out towards the address. Hey. You head out. It, once again, it's not far from the starport. It's one of the sort of inns that someone might use if they're staying for a few days, especially if they don't have a ship of their own. Yep. Um, you make your way up a few... <sighs> You make your way up a few staircases to um, what is a reasonably sized but small room in the in the upper levels. Um, knock on the door, I'm assuming. Icon answers. Um, first thing that strikes you about her um, when she answers the door is that she's not wearing her sunglasses. Right now she's just wearing um, an eye patch that covers one eye, but not the other. Um, so you do have that empty area where for a human an eye might be. Literally just the eye patch. I'm sorry, I'm a terrible, terrible person. <laughs> no, actually, she's wearing clothes. Um, <laughs> good clarification that I didn't think was at all necessary. After all the jokes we just made. Yeah. yeah I, I really underestimated you guys. It's, um, <laughs> tendency. Let's put it that way. Um, I, see. I thought she was wearing normal clothes, so... Yes. All of our licenses are wearing fairly safe. normal clothes. Um, she's. Oh, come on in. Oh, and, 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 and I'm just wearing my normal flight suit and red coat and belt. Like, last year. She goes holster. to the small, like, kitchenette area, um, pours herself a water. Would you like anything? Water's fine. She pours two, pours another water and a, another glass, hands you one. Oh, do you need something? <sighs> I just thought, when I saw you out, it's not often that the people like us meet anymore. Fairly rare, yes. You say that like this isn't your first time, or at least not your first time in years. It has been a while. Shut up, Jared. I didn't Shut say up. anything. <laughs> That's Lux back at the ship. <laughs> totally. He's like, oh, come on. <laughs> this is too we're all, easy. We're all just sitting around the, the little speaker popcorn. throwing popcorn and shit. <laughs> It's like a comedy of errors, I swear. <laughs> sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah. it, it has been years, but... I have recently learned that... Apparently not as alone as I thought I was. Well, I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure I'm not the last, but... First time in... What has it been since 
first time since things changed significantly that I've met anyone like us. Put it diplomatically. That's fair. I this suppose I should ask, what are you comfortable being called? I am since Taco. I do not ascribe, uh, uh, to answer the actual question, I don't ascribe to a doctrine. I tend to put a lot of value in my people's own philosophies. There's value in that. I cast aside the doctrine I was raised on many years ago. Hmm. It seemed to be fill, full of... I guess the best word would be hypocrisy. Hypocrisy is... That might be a word for any ideology one might follow. It's a fair point. <laughs> she just kicks up her feet on, on the table. What are you doing out here? I assume that most... You talk like you were raised with a culture, and... What are you doing out in the Outer Rim? Aren't most of yours off being sages or something? That's what I always assumed happened. I imagine that those who aren't dead are in hiding much doing the same. You don't. By outing yourself to any random person you find that happens to be somewhat similar. There are calculated risks. When you find someone who is under very similar circumstances and could find themselves in very similar circumstances, things were to go wrong, Shared suffering tends to make for stronger bond. Suffering shared by nearly all at this point. And she'll, she's been sipping the water she has throughout the, this. As um, I. Good. No. Um, As I'm about to pass out. <laughs> from all the chlorine. Not necessarily. You guys are so... <laughs> paranoid I about why. the yeah um about your impending doom um really want to bring in that droid game is what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> all the I don't care all the biological like, ones die I'm not that mean and I have ridden quite a bit of this narrative <laughs> I mean most of you, let just says fuck it and go and goes back to her empire work. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I am making a life, earning money, keeping two steps ahead of a firing squad, effect, or trying to. And you? Well, I could say much the same. <coughs> to similar hobbies. To similar hobbies. Um, and I am going to need you to make a check at this point. <laughs> <laughs> What sort of check? First, I want you to make a cool check, just for how well you're generally reading the situation. Difficulty? Difficulty of two, I'm going to say. It's a wash. <laughs> Sensaku is not cool. Well, no, I'm not uncool. 
He's a square. Like, it's inherently weird that she asked you to come here, but neither and neither of you are quite sure what to say to some extent, but you're not getting anything sinister I mean, or anything particularly helpful. Yeah, it's 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 sort of weird, but at the same time, like we don't really have anyone else to relate to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um Then a resist toxin check. A resilience <laughs> roll. <laughs> that would be a resilience roll if that's what um if that's what this was. But I'm gonna need you to make a what is the roll for that? You could just tell me. Um <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say this one's going to be a discipline check. Um, difficulty of three. Discipline to resist seduction. <laughs> no, charm is generally not resisted with discipline. No um, success, no, no failure, but one threat. Oh, that's a great sign. I rolled a success, a blank, a failure, a blank, a threat. <laughs> Cut to back at the ship. Well, god damn it. Get blaster. <laughs> no, um... Actually, because you didn't have any failures, I'm gonna say... There's a creeping unease to the situation. Um, you continue to talk mostly vaguely, as both of you have many secrets to protect, and may not be sharing secrets that are not your own. Um, so after some casual banter, um, but there's something ominous that, that you cannot quite put a finger on. At a certain point, after I've finished the glass of water, I'll set it down. So, if you'll pardon the bluntness, we left you at a space station after rescuing you off of a planet, and a while later, several days later, you just so happened to come across me at a starport, different planet in a different section of the Outer Rim, and invited me over to drink water and reminisce about our mutual situation alone, pointedly, at night. What do you want? I have an offer for you. Sure. It. But I must ask for whoever's listening in. I'm assuming you're not quite alone. I don't know if there's someone else in this room or someone across the way with a rifle, or perhaps just a bug, or whatever it might be. As far as I know, I'm asking I am. you to leave in good will and good faith. Well, shit. I, we have no way beyond the nature of my sight of knowing where you are, but. When I implore your privacy, I implore it quite genuinely. And if this is something that you might wish to speak to them on, you may. I genuinely do not. I'm fairly certain I am alone. I told them I was going to be coming alone. I'll turn off the bug. Okay. Russ, do you want to go take a walk somewhere? Just Sorry, in case. Guys. He's already got his rifle. <laughs> Don't get too close. That's not just in case. He knows how to contact Regular rifle, us if he not needs. disruptor. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yes. Yeah. Let's not just disintegrate down people, the door please. With a disruptor rifle. <laughs> no, shoot the door. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, rerun. You yes. definitely have the capability to turn the bug back on if you so choose. 
Or you can go with the rest of the team if you so choose. We are Luca are near human, but not quite human, right? Yeah, they're they're a distinct species, but they are organics. Um, they are persecuted organics in a lot of ways. Um, um, yeah, rerun's gonna he's not gonna bother with the bug. He'll leave that to to Lux. He's just gonna trail Praz. Hmm. Okay. So, are we? Ha do we have three people leaving the ship? No, Lux is staying on the ship. We are not leaving the ship unattended on okay. the, in this starport. <laughs> I'll tell Lux it's a last resort, but if you absolutely need to use it, the the rifle we took from Bantul is underneath my mattress. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. If it comes to that, I'm probably flying off and leaving you guys here. But shit, you can fly. I mean, yes, I can. I not great, but I can. But I was joking, at least ninety percent joking. Well, wait for me. If shit goes south there, I'm not staying. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I guess we'll have to try to get him back. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Have fun. Try not to kill anybody. Not Try not to get caught killing anybody. I can't wait for Lux yeah. to try to take off and crash into the side of the starport herself. <laughs> Lux actually has a decent piloting score. Yeah, yeah Lux mm. has no ranks in piloting, but her, her high agility alone makes her able to pilot the ship. True, mm -hmm. but it's also you rolling dice. This is also <laughs> true. I was gonna say, yeah, you might you might rather have rerun try and pilot before Lux does. <laughs> um, I got three dice in piloting. Okay, I'm all right. I mean, even if yeah, even all of you are crash... nominally capable of flying a ship, I'm just better than you. Yeah, yeah. even if you I just actually trained I... for it. Straight into the side of a building, it would not be the worst attempted takeoff I've ever seen in a Star Wars game. <laughs> Her ship literally went whoosh, bam and slammed down on the, <laughs> on the back because somebody triple botched a piloting roll. All right. Um, so after saying that, she waits maybe 30 seconds. Well, they've either taken off my offer or they haven't. Shrugs. Were they bluffing? <laughs> just... You don't know. No, sure. I don't know. Well, what she said wouldn't necessarily be a bluff. She said, I suspect there's someone listening in, and I have no way of proving it. Please leave us alone. Um, it's hard to bluff that, which is why I didn't let you make a cool role. Right. Um, she was she was explicitly saying, and the sense you got was this is, at the very least, a random guess. Oh. Might be more substantiated, but minimum random guess. Yeah. Um, That's fair. Well, I do hope whoever was listening, if they were, turned off whatever. Well, yes. Now, for more serious matters. <clears throat> I... Suppose you could say I represent interests outside of what might be considered the binary of what's of current political discourse. And I understand that to some extent you find yourself in, in a similar position when it comes to what we are and where we feel the force should lie. I am hoping to recruit you. I hope you understand that we don't accept those who are not gifted in the way we are. Um, can I, so I will. is there a role I can make based solely on the specific word choices as to what type of organization this might be? Yeah. Unfortunately, there isn't a lore spirituality check. 
<laughs> but you can definitely make essentially that roll. Um, I'm going to say you're going to make a lore roll. Okay. With a boost die, because you were schooled in a formal, in generally this. Yep. Uh, difficulty what? Difficulty of three. She's being kind of ambiguous. Yeah. I'm, I'm just picking up, like, key phrases like, Mm-hmm. Non-binary, uh, yeah. Non-politic, uh, third, a third option to the current political climate. Yeah, and gifted. you'll get some information even on a failure. But I want you to make the roll just to see how much yeah. you're picking up her specifics. A failure and three threats. <laughs> okay, with a failure and three threats. Obviously, she is implying this part's pretty obvious. She is implying. Hey, I represent either myself or a group of people that are not statedly light side or dark side, or perhaps are a combination of the two. And I'm a force user, and you're a force user, and you seem to have similar ideas. Join us. Um, It's like, there's a lot of things in between. There's also a lot of things that declare themselves in between that you might not consider it to be. But she is representing an option that is fairly aligned with your, your own values. I mean... Such a cause does sound real. Hope you don't mind me not taking quite at fair value, if you could perhaps explain a bit. She um, takes a small coin and flips it in her hands. Doesn't use any force abilities, but just... Some people only see the faces on the coin. I actually have Star Wars themed coinage. (laughs) Props! Yes! Nice. Some people only see the faces on the coin. Darkness and the light. I and my associates believe a while ago, like I said, I haven't haven't met anyone since things changed, but I was once part of a group that believed in a that instead of looking at the faces of the coin, what was Important was the coin itself, its material, its substance. We worked to draw out force potential and understand it more thoroughly, not to use it for either side's benefit, but to strengthen and more fully comprehend the coin as its own entity. She'll flip the small coin to you. Catch it. Similar, but not quite the same. And um, I'm going. He'll, he, I'm just going to put the coin down so that okay. it's edge first, edge down <laughs> on the on, on the table. Yep. It's not the whole coin that I'm concerned with, but the connection between the two halves. Maintaining that equilibrium. Let it up and hopefully, I'm just going to like try to balance the coin. I, I can okay. balance a coin in real life, so I'm hoping that he can balance a coin like I mean, in game. <laughs> I'm going to say yes, given that this coin is specifically designed for force metaphors, you can balance the coin. Okay. And just lift a hand up so that it's standing on it. Keeping it in balance. That is intriguing. You're not necessarily a disqualifier for my cause. The cause of one hardly seems a cause, though. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Uh, <laughs> that's that's kind of why you're here. At which point the pretense of mastermind collapses. <laughs> what? 
uh, most great organization in Dawn. Working the Force, or having the Force work through them, have some form of name. Does your organization have a name? We weren't an organization, more of a club, people who consulted with each other. Scholars, for lack of a better word. People who shared beyond what their forces above them were willing to have shared from all different sides. And came together towards understanding. Scholarly I'm hoping to recreate that. Scholarly pursuits are certainly a noble endeavor, and I certainly do approve. So here's my offer. Come with me. The place we met requires two. I cannot enter alone, but I suspect that given our nature, we still operate. I lost my old partner in this. And I'm hoping to find a new one. So it wasn't so much a ship crash as an ending. Oh, that was years later. Uh, the ship crash was mostly genuine. I was... I have some trouble with your current employer. Different matter. My, my job that actually makes money, for lack of a better term. Oh. The one who, the employer that provided us the ship and all that. We, we sort of cycle through employers. It helps to be more specific, but. The one that you were almost certainly working for when we met. Yes, that one. Well, we had just finished working, but yes, that one. <laughs> he gave you a ship, and what did he ask you to do? I mean, yes, he expects us to do more for him. It's hard to be out of the debt of someone like that. Fair enough. I'm sure you've noticed something. Certainly seems, certainly seems off. And uh, my associate didn't take too well to his company. Well, just think about it. I'm um, more than willing if to... you do, uh, unlock this. Use it to find me. Something? Yeah, the coin that oh. you would balance on the table. Yeah, Unlock this, use it to find me. I carry its twin. More than willing I'll... to help you in this endeavor. I haven't mentioned the drawback yet. I imagine there would. As I said, this is an this organization was benefited by the fact that we only allow our own. You would be, at least for a short time, leaving behind your friends, and I'm sure that you need to ensure that they aren't actively following. Well, there is the stick, because in order to join you on, I definitely want to bring my... I do so sincerely hope you'll reconsider. After all, it's nothing more than to see the world as I do, to see the world as I always have, is the gift that I share. I can tell you that people share every possible secret, every possible kind you could imagine things that would allow you to yank the force towards that balance that it has drifted so far from. Of course, I'm supposed technically droids aren't necessarily an issue. People bring bodyguards. 
we are a little backwards in that way, but I, I was working on it 10 years ago. Um, so yeah. Hey, force only force user I've met in 10 years. Come join my secret force user club. And she'll salute and leave. I'll sort of lean back. Does she actually leave the room? Yeah. Lean back and look at... Is there anything on it? Like. Yeah, like I said, once both sides are... One side is light, one side is dark. And the more you look at it, the more it resembles something you have seen before. When you were a youngling and a Padawan, you were familiar with holocrons. The Jedi have them. Um, <laughs> Shit. This could almost be considered, like, a small holocron in some way. Uh, roll it along my fingers. Okay. Pocket it. Yep. Get up. Walk out. Right. Um, as you're headed down, you probably meet Praz and Rerun, who have come to the rescue! What? What are you doing here? Just walking. Why? Just making sure. Making sure of what? That nothing happens. <laughs> I walk back towards the ship. We were successful in our endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what? Taking it? What do you mean by taking advantage of? It's been years, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What's been years? I don't know. We so long, he's forgotten afterwards. how to. <laughs> he's yeah. forgotten what it is. <laughs> All right, Lux, were you doing anything on the ship during this no, time? No, I'm just chilling. Okay. And back to the ship with Praz and Rerun, I guess. Yep. Yeah. And as I'm... When you are arriving at the world, um, you hear... It almost seems like it comes through the voice. As, uh, comes through the coin, a soft voice. Um... The voice of the person you were just talking to, so it's not challenging to recognize. You need proof of what I'm talking about. There's a screaming world. One of ours, one of my old colleagues was interested in it. I've sent you the coordinates. Find it. You might find in your reason to join us. There's nothing new on your communicator. Look at the coin. I pull out the coin and look at it. Um, you do feel a small pulse from the coin. Um, closed right now. Given that, it's not gonna reveal its secrets to you. I open it. It's a holocron. I mean, yeah. It's, yes, it's like you a can holocron. open it, yeah. but do you want to do that before you get on the ship? I'll wait till I get on the ship. Okay. Do, 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 do. Get on the ship, head up to the cockpit. Right. So how'd it go? Set it on the, set it on the console and open it up. What's that? Information. Okay. What kind of information? So, up the holocron on the console. You concentrate for a moment, and at first, you're almost surprised it works. One of the things that your doctor told you that you generally still believe is that holocrons respond to the nature of a force user. So that this one opens to you would indicate not, not a holocron in the sense you're familiar with because those might almost certainly would not open for you. Um, 
but it flips and it turns and it twists and it, for the rest of you this small coin that he draws out um sort of fragments into pieces opening up and revealing sort of a spiraling glowing network within um you do see like at the top um some coordinates glimmering in the in the pattern and beneath a steady pulsing pulsing energy that um that shifts into the face of the woman you were just meeting with and then back into pulsing um reverberating energy i'll reach out so like holding it in one hand i'll reach out with the other hand and uh sort of toggle in those coordinates in the nav computer okay. and see what comes up. I'm not like, I'm not plotting a course. I'm just seeing what comes up. Okay. Um, it's actually not too far away. It's in the same general region. Um, it's a drifting planet, not connected to any star. Um, but there is a planetoid there. Well, it seems we've received direction. <laughs> what? What kind of dir- you're, you're looking at me where to an open like yes device yeah. I understand this <laughs> and my reaction is exactly what it was yeah uh, the screaming world well that's specific sounds pleasant so what what was your how did the meeting go? Pleasant enough. We had a simple conversation regarding our uh-huh. individual lots in the world. Okay. And, I'll, I'll close and you the, got the coordinates to a planet. Uh, right. If you could, there's the navigate. There's the coordinates right there. Um. Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, what was her name again? I've completely forgotten it. <laughs> Yakan. Yakan? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Yakan was apparently a former member of an order of four scholars. Uh, right. Found on studying the force, its inner workings, how it, well, how it all connects together, how to, in, you know, power it, and through empowering it, empower themselves. One of the various non Jedi. None. Is Darth Vader a known entity at this point? Um, to Lux, yes. I mean, to to you, to, yes. to, to the world at large, yeah. Um, um, not like every random farm boy would know, but like to someone like Lux, yeah. yes. To someone I like mean, he Krasny, is, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, he is kind of like the symbol of the of of the Empire. Oh, yeah, okay. he is. He is the no. He is the emperor's hand. He is an enforcer. Yeah. Um, I, he I, is the. I get the, the propaganda the wise. He's the last of sort of the Jedi e people that's allowed to exist. I I point at the coordinates that I punched into the astrogation. It's right there. I'm going to I'm going to um, assume I don't, but just for okay, grins, can I get a roll? To recognize any kind of allusion to screaming planet. Yes, you can. Um, I want you to make me a make me an outer rim roll. Okay. Difficulty two, but you get a boost die. Okay. What bug? What are you talking about, Rerun? What bug do you think? I just bug my belt. That is a success and three advantages. I I will try uh, to find the okay, bug in my um, So I'm trying to see what what. At first, you're trying to think about screaming world from the perspective of a like information specialist, and there's very little you know. But then you you start thinking about how could I have heard that term because it's on the tip of your tongue, and. As a Zeltron, you do recognize it. Um, the Screaming World is a rough translation, but yeah, that uh, floating 
planetoid not connect to any um, any um, star that apparently screams? Definitely something you would have heard of growing up or hanging out for a time on okay. your planet. Um, no, I was in the middle Wait, of... Wait, hang, sorry, hanging out where? Your home planet. Um, okay, so it's something... Okay. It's something that you... Exactly where you would have heard about it. It's more like a general topic of interest. Okay. Because to, he, to you and to your people, there is knowledge that there's a planetoid that is somewhere that screams. Right, okay. So like, is weird and interesting, got it. Screams to you guys, not to, like... Ah, verbal screams, but yes, emotional uh, screams. So, I'm still. I've, I've now collapsed the holocron back down. Yep. And I sort of hold it up, the the darker side to a Lux. If this is Vader and what he represents, flip it over to the other side, and this is the old Jedi Order they represent. Uh huh. Flip it, and then I hold it sideways, just the edge. This is where an infinite number of other doctrines, disciplines, thought processes. I mean, it stands to reason. Various, and at various points along the spectrum. Her order apparently resides on the edge. Much like my own. Much like I do. Okay. Cool. So potential ally for us. Well... Apparently, it's something of a force users only. Okay. I mean, that's fine. You're so, so you're part of this special club. As we go around doing our thing, it's a contact. It's a ally. Potentially, something about it felt off. Though. Not something I can put my finger. Sort of a bad feel. Okay. So is there any downside to just saying, yeah, cool, I'm in your club, and then calling on her if we need to? Not that I know of currently. But not all organizations that claim to rest on the median actually do. Well, duh. <laughs> are you telling me that there are people who have the ability to fuck with your mind who are sometimes dishonest? I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. <laughs> I would, I Can would... Rerun run an astrogation check on those coordinates? Yes, absolutely. Astrogation difficulty three? Apparently. Okay. I say indicating the astrogation computer where Rerun is at. Something I learned, something I learned at those coordinates is supposed to convince me well. Ah, I'm going to spend a light side. Her club, because she's kind of the only one left that she knows of. Wait. <laughs> Not really a club so much as a inclination. Triumphant yeah, advantage. Um, with a triumphant an advantage, yeah, you can route it. You guys would be there in about a day or two. Like I said, this is a drifting planetoid not connected to any sun. <sighs> it does have a lot of internal heat that would make it not not long term habitable necessarily, but rough guess. Just given given where it is, you can drop some basic information from the hypernet. Um, In the meantime, this cool. is a holocron. Well, Kind of. So still, exper still examining it. Very interested to see what else is on this. Um, did you learn anything? You want me to hack it, or...? It <laughs> can you move things with your mind? No. Then you can't hack it. I can. I mean, it's technology still, though, right? Is technology specifically designed to work with and through the Force? Its, cre its actual creation and the creation of items like it isn't exactly known many or me. I'm not sure how they make them. I know that it works. Well. 
that you are a font that's not, of knowledge. That's, that's um, much, well, nobody knows how holocrons are made. <laughs> but that is the most like I totally passed my Padawan test, but only kind of explanation. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. That's amazing. It's like it's a pass the test by it's, one it's point. Like a, it's like a four, yeah, like a C is still a passing grade. <laughs> D means diploma. D means diploma. <laughs> D means diploma. Yeah, that's... Um... Holy shit. <laughs> D means diploma. In this case, because one of the teachers took a lot of pity on you. <laughs> it's true. D means diploma. That's um, amazing. It's, it's a... It's... It's... It's not something you can hack. Okay. Put it like that. However, it's not. It's also not something that's locked. I can access. Saw me. And uh, there's no other secret information in it beyond what you've got. Well, there may very well be. I. That's what I'm going to be looking at. Of course, yeah. it's wild. But all information it has. But what did you find out during your day? Since I noticed you were yeah. conspicuously silent earlier. Yeah, that's because you were going to meet with a secret contact, and I didn't want to give you information on rebellion sources while you went and did so. No, it's true. That's because, absolutely a good idea. Similar um, to me saying that I'm going to go alone and not have you all follow me for Which you... Sh <laughs> hey. We regret nothing. By the way, did you enjoy what you heard? I say, I'm still fishing out the bug from my belt. <laughs> Make me a... It was so hilariously awkward. I loved it. Wasn't it? Rerun made that thing very well. Um, make me a... Do you guys know Why the not? Term Why not? School phrasing? doggery check. Difficulty. <laughs> no. Sorry. Well, uh, what was the difficulty and what was the check? School doggery difficulty four. Because Rerun had a lot of successes and triumphs while making it, and that's the difficulty she had. <laughs> um, if it hadn't been so unfairly planted, um, so failure is a threat. <laughs> if you knew where it is, you could probably get it off. I'm just like, but you're I'm... like looking, you're checking the inner pocket. You're sure it's here because they bugged you, but you can't find it. I hold the belt out towards Lux. Here you go. Take the belt back. I take the bug. Okay. <laughs> Never had somebody take off their belt so many times in my presence and have nothing happen. Well, that would <laughs> All say more I'm about say. you than me. <laughs> what? What did you say, Cody? I completely missed it. When? A second ago. When we're talking about the bug. I have no idea. <laughs> you did say some. I don't. I don't know if everyone was intentionally ignoring it, but you did say something during the "you can't hack it" thing. Oh, that I can move things within my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I was kind of wondering that. where that went. Um. Yeah, nobody, nobody said anything. So <laughs> I, I turned to look. No, I heard that. I heard that, but I was in the middle of a conversation. I turned to look at Praz. What do you mean you can move things with your mind? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Press, you are the best. Literally the best. I have my moments. Rerun, have you plotted a coordinate? Affirmative beeps ensue. I'll sit down in my chair and quest take off. Yeah. Okay. So, anyways... Um, so I did make contact. Yeah, as uh, Lux begins this exposition, yeah, you start no, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. But, yeah. yeah. I did make contact with an actual source. Hmm? Um, uh, they... I think they're legit. I have very good reason to believe that they will not be hostile to... Those of your persuasion. 
Um, I didn't provide a. I didn't provide him with a ton of information. Just that there were potentials out there. That's fine. Um, but I have a way to get hold of him directly now. Tell them that we weren't going to ask that that that. The, the implication was that we would work with them in exchange for them working with us. That was the idea, yes. And that was what I strongly suggested. Good. It was great. So this poor, poor little kid Hyper who's space. working, <laughs> who's working <laughs> the, uh, the desk is like, hey, just, just, just spirit, like, do you want to this A, B, C, D, D, A, yeah, all these different options of what, what I'm seeking? I'm like, I'll take all of the above. Not um, normal response to everything. That is not true. Certainly, it was what you said to Carter. It's only usually true. <laughs> hey, how do you have a bug in my room? And just smiles. Drop an EMP. Small localized EMP. <laughs> Fair I to God. I wouldn't do that in your room. It might eject. <laughs> Be worth it. Um. <laughs> 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 Just shoot off at light speed at a tangent to where we were going. Is it a small explosion in the hyperspace tunnel behind us? No, I imagine yeah. it'd be like taking a brick up against a grinding wheel. It just fucking slowly just. just... <laughs> <laughs> what happens is 30 years later. Yeah, <laughs> we run press and send our traveler out somewhere, and all of a sudden, <laughs> Lux looking exactly as she did. She's like, "Where have you? Uh, how? Where are we? How did I? How did we get here?" <laughs> Why are you guys that old? That is one distinct <laughs> possibility <laughs> of such an accident. <laughs> or you end up in an alternate universe. <laughs> uh. Or we get yeah, we get to have the Star Trek Mirror Universe episode. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Vader's yeah. the good guy. And rerun uh, the Jedi. <laughs> rerun, it, rerun his general grievance. <laughs> um, Die uh, for the win. No, rerun's a pro-human droid. <laughs> it did. So while while we're flying, it did feel very. Or supremacist. In the way she was selling it, that may have just been the awkward nature what? of the conversation. Of the the club thing. She used she used terms like gifted and our kind. I mean Yeah, that's that when you are trying to convince somebody to see your way of thinking, you create an us versus them attitude. That that's manipulation one oh one. Is that effective? Yes. It didn't feel effective. Why do you think the Jedi are hated? Mm. You're they're different, and therefore, that was all the opening that was needed. Well, and apparently, some really stupid decisions that were made. <laughs> um, Why do you think I left the order in the first place? <laughs> You hear the universe nodding in agreement with the stupid decisions comment. I mean, you kidnap children from a young age, train them to be killing machines, and then expect them to be peaceful and passionless. Right. Yeah, that's brilliant. I have very, sp may, I have very specific issues know, with the former child. It may stun you to know that I think that is abhorrent. It may um, stun you to know that I... <laughs> so she is an elitist bitch then. Potentially. I don't eh. it seemed weird. It's like a feeling again, I just got a bad feeling about it. <laughs> As a piece and on of quoting the movie slams down on your head out of nowhere. <laughs> That's where we're gonna leave for the night.
All right. <laughs> well, if you have a bad feeling about this, you can find more content later. <laughs> we are Final Show Films. We produce a wide variety of content every day of the week. You can check us out on our website at finalshowfilms.com. You can also check us out on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash fsfilms. If I support us financially, you can do so there. Thank you to all of our supporters, especially our $25 tier supporters on Patreon. Chris Comfort, Antitonic, and Cat Waterflame. Uh, thank you also to all of our subscribers on Twitch, our Twitch affiliates, which can subscribe to us, as well as offering us bits, if you want to do that. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm sure there's more to this spiel than I normally do, but I'm sure there's some reason coming up short, because... All I can think to go to next is a website named 411mania.com. Jeremy, what is 411mania.com and why is it in my head? 411mania.com is a pop culture site for everything that geeks could be interested in. If you want to know how uh, War for the Planet of the Apes did this weekend, you can find that out on Sunday. If you want to find out who the new Doctor Who is going to be, the, the 13th Doctor. That'll be revealed on Sunday, 14th. and we'll have that as soon as it comes up, huh? 14th. War Doctor doesn't count in the numbering. No, um, the War Doctor doesn't count in the numbering. He's th uh, Then he's 13th. Capal Capaldi was the 13th. No, 12th. And trust us, they just did an ad campaign. He is the 12th Doctor, says yep. the guy who's seen literally every episode of the show. I have too. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, we have um, all of, for, for WWE fans, we have all the spoilers from the Mae Young classic that was taped over, over the last couple of days. We have TV news. We'll have uh, uh, reviews of Game of Thrones as soon as... I, I finish them writing them up after the episode airs because HBO doesn't do screeners. Fuck HBO. Um, <laughs> <laughs> music, MMA, gaming, final show film stuff. Um, check us out, 411mania.com. Jeremy, those are all things that I'm interested in. Are you saying I can find them at 411mania.com? You absolutely can. At 411mania.com. At 411mania.com. All right. I love how we don't even have a copy and we keep on messing with the copy. And and if you're really lucky, you might actually get the final show film stuff if John posts them. <laughs> hey, I posted up two things. I posted up two things earlier today. So there. Well, there you go. Um, also, as I well, with the with the change in our publishing schedule, that being yeah done rather than on the basis that I'm trying to do it here less stress on me, they'll get posted up as things go up. So there. Um, whenever I upload things, three screens and go one, two, three. Anyways. Um, but yeah. Thank you to all of you watching. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe below, and come check us out on Twitch. TV slash and soccer. We appreciate it here. And, uh, and we'll see you all. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Justice reigns from above. <laughs> Good. <laughs>